Hey, what's up, guys? Drew Emin here in the Pig Trail Nation, joined by former hog Rodney Clark, also a former Butler Bulldog, playing in the Italian League and play, of course, suspended until April 3rd because of the coronavirus. You were about 60 miles from the epicenter in northern Italy. You saw it firsthand, but what were your initial thoughts regarding the impact? Um, it was pretty surreal for me. Um, you know, it started off with two cases and, like you said, in the city about an hour from us, and we didn't think too much of it at first. And uh, the, a couple minor mistakes, and it just rapidly started growing and just got to the point to where um, I had to come home and had to send my family home. And the season, as of right now, is just canceled until April 3rd until we hear more information. All right, so you got a text from your general manager March 8th. If you're going to send your family home, you need to do that tonight. How did you react as your family started the process to pack up? Yeah, that was uh, that was a pretty crazy situation for us. Um, you know, we had we had just decided, you know, we're going to stick this thing out and, uh, you know, keep going and, and see how it all go plays out. And we had literally that day got word that there was a possible uh, lockdown of our entire region that we lived in. And um, the Lombardi region over there is kind of it's the step that they separate into states, kind of like here in the United States. But so our state and our region was going to be possibly completely locked down. And uh, I was asking them to keep me, you know, informed with that. And we, we hadn't heard much until about 11 o'clock at night, 1030 at night. My GM said, if, uh, if you're thinking about sending your family home, you need to get them out immediately because there'll be people on the borders and trying to try, they're going to lock down the, uh, the entire region. So packed everything up, you know, fit we'd had for eight months there to live with. And, uh, packed it up in about two and a half hours and I got them to the airport as soon as possible and and thankfully they made it out and, and made it home safe. And your family's good now? Yeah, yeah, everything's great. And Rodney, I know as far as the process, you know, the way people are getting tested right now and, and how it's impacted your family. I know you had a son, you were trying to get tested, he was showing some symptoms of fever. Yeah, it was, uh, so I was at, I was still in Italy uh, knowing he, he was showing, you know, just, he just had a small fever going home and uh, we we're a little nervous about that, but him getting to um, the United States and then being in the house, they were still, he was still showing symptoms and uh, made us a little nervous because he was, you know, he had a little fever, he had a little cough, all the things that they talk about. And uh, my wife had called the health department and, um, you know, stressed to them, hey, this, he's having symptoms. We, we literally just came from the region in Italy that is, uh, that is the epicenter right now. And, um, it was kind of kind of frustrating at first because they did. We we figured you know we had come from that exactly that region. He's showing symptoms. We'll get a test immediately, and that didn't happen. And you know they kind of um, just monitored us for a couple of days, monitored my wife and the kids, and, and checked on us. And finally, um, after three or four days of him having a fever, um, they brought him in, brought them all in, and, and gave my youngest son a test. And kind of just under the assumption that if he ended up having it, if he tested positive, probably the entire family was going to have it. So uh, the test results came back negative. So uh, that was a blessing. And um, since I've been home, we've just been quarantining and then we, we're still up for five more days of that. So basketball wise, what are your plans the rest of your career? You worked out for OKC last summer. You're having a strong season, averaging 19 points, shooting 44 percent from three. Honestly, uh, you know, I've talked to my agent and you know my family about it. it's it's the past two years have been my best two years professionally and I don't know if that's just you know me to can, can continue to develop as a player and, and getting more mature and you know getting older but um, I I felt the best I've ever felt this past season so um, I'll be interested to see how this if they end up canceling the season for sure I mean I I, I think it's unlikely that they'll finish the season out with how it's going but um, you know, I'm looking forward to to next year because these these last two years, I think, are going to kind of springboard me into some some newer and uh, better things. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. It's it's and as of right now, I, I still want to continue to play as long as as long as my body holds up. And it, it felt great this year. And then I think an interesting dynamic is, you know, the fact that people talk about playing overseas, and the advantages there versus the G League. What's your takeaway there? Yeah, I think that was the thing for me, you know, uh, if that was one thing that I regret uh, coming out of college, I, I, while I was, you know, while I was engaged and didn't have kids, I would have wanted to maybe try the G League out or the D League at the time and, and give it a year and, and, you know, kind of bet on myself for a year. But I didn't end up doing that. Now that I have a family, it's, um, you know, it's just it's for me, I got to, my first and my first and foremost priority is, is providing for them and and making sure they're set. And uh, so, you know, I, I would be 
honestly passing up a lot of money if I came back to play in the G League just to take a chance on maybe a 10-day contract or something like that. So I've kind of, you know, I'm content if, if that's not going to happen. You know, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing well overseas and uh, hopefully going to continue to do that. Obviously, in this quarantined situation, uh, training-wise, what are you doing to stay in shape? Yeah, it's been tough. Uh, my, my, my strength coach has sent me a lot of in-home workouts. I've done that. You know, I'll get out outside at night to where it's good for me here because when I was, you know, when I was stuck in the apartment there, I literally couldn't even leave, leave the building. We weren't supposed to leave the building. So uh, I'll, I'll go out at night here late and just run around the neighborhood and run around the, the area. So, and um, I actually just got a basketball goal too out in the driveway. So I'll be getting shots up and my wife's been rebounding for me at night, so it's it's been it's been okay. It's been it's been a different situation, but but I've gotten through it. And then finally, Rodney, how much have you talked to former Hogs during this new normal we're all going through? Yeah, I've honestly talked. I've talked to a, to a lot of people. I mean, just you know, former Hogs, you know, guys that I've that I've kept in contact with that are you know still playing overseas and that have come back, and um, guys that are talking about still wanting to play in the the basketball tournament this summer just wondering if that's going to be an issue or if they're going to continue with that and you know just it's interesting hearing all the different stories of guys you know different countries how how it's been handled and and getting back home and just stressing to get back home into the united states to be with your family and feel safe and comfortable it's a it's it's just a crazy situation right now obviously we're in we're in uncharted waters with with there being really no sports right now it's uh it's frustrating frustrating for the sports fans but uh um, hopefully, you know, everything will, will get better. Rodney, thanks very much. Former Hog Rodney Clark joining us.